Google Docs. It doesn't care. Well, it's not on Google Docs. Google Docs, <laughs> Google Docs is beyond us, Torgo. Better. 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 I hear spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah. Skeletons are pretty spooky and scary. I mean, you should be hearing that music playing literally right now. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even there. <laughs> oh my god. Spoilers, I have it set to loop. Oh my god. The, the 10 hour version? No, it's Why? the, uh... <laughs> Why would you need to loop the 10 hour version? In yeah. case it went over. In case we play until, you know, 6 a.m. on a Saturday. Wait, 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 wait. Are we playing 4th edition? <laughs> no. Shit, 4th edition with like 3 or 4 combats in the game, we'd be up till like tomorrow yeah. night. Alright, who's Gorgo? Are you gonna play or not? I can't. Alright. Rip, Gorgo. Alright, we're gonna play this game then. I'm gonna okay. turn down this music a little bit. These skeletons, too spooky. I don't know, it should just be a nice, low murmur. Alright, last time, wow. you last time. helped some dragon dragons. No, you know what? Yeah, it was, actually. Uh, Julia, do you have a link to the page with the dilettante stats, by the way? Yeah, I can find it. Uh... Let's see, we did not get anything from the little dance because... Wait a second. We should probably spend some of this gold on stuff. How many incremental wow. advancements should we have? Two or three? You should have two. You should have three by the end of the end of tonight. Okay. Okay. Unless you, unless we have a total party kill. Well, I mean, if that happens, I'm doing. <laughs> well, it don't jinx it. First roll. Oh, sorry. Total party kill. Just there you go. Thank you. Just natural ones all the way down. <laughs> oh, it is. All right. Uh, you, you're not dead. You have been. No, you're. I have to say, you're cadaverific right now. <laughs> All right. Want me to see? Be back. You see your rolls now. Right. See you. See you, Gorgo. Bye bye. See you around nine thirty. All right. Who's who's ready to be spooked? I'm it's ready. A super spooky game tonight. No spooks. bones uh, about this... it. I'm ready. This okay. character was. Born to be spooked. Right, Born turn, to spook. Turning off spooky, yep. scary skeletons for now. No. I can't have it playing the whole time. Too distracting? Yeah, I, every time I hear it, I get too spooked. I get too spooked. <laughs> and I've got to stop. Anyways, alright, last time uh, you guys did a thing in Glitterhagen and helped some dragons fall in love. It was very sweet and charming. And uh, so you were on your way to Shadowport is very close, just maybe a couple miles, when this horrible, horrible uh, storm hits. Uh, it's really bad, like, there's oh, hail. That is the thing we should do. Yeah, you should roll your thing on this. Um, on Lich King. Um, shoot. Good, perfect. Nah, just the priestess. Alright, anyways, so there's this horrible storm, you're on the road from uh, Glitterhog into Shadowport. When this like absolute freak storm hits, it's like hailing and lightning and the winds howling, and uh, you realize that if you don't get somewhere soon, you're going to uh, basically get killed in this storm. Uh, but as luck would have it, there is you notice off the side of the road a small house uh, that you can take refuge in. So here's here's your first choice. Do you want to die in a horrible storm, or would you like to go into a house? Hmm. Tough moral Can we choices roll here. To survive the storm, or what? <laughs> You'll Tough literally just choices. die. You'll literally just die. That's how bad it is. It's like hailing. They're the size of large boulders. Oh, we don't have much of a choice. I cast yeah. control weather. <laughs> I, cast I don't actually Walk have in that in the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cleric spell. Is it? Okay. Anyway, yes. <laughs> it's not a cleric spell in this game. Um, Alright, so you basically go into this small house uh, where you can wait out the storm. It is uh, rickety and old, uh, but, you know, you're free to explore. So, uh, like, a gust of wind slams the door shut as you all enter. What do you do? Uh, 
Somebody should probably try and uh, open it again, just to see if it actually opens. It opens. Yeah, it opens, and then it gets okay. slammed shut by the wind. Rude. If it doesn't want us inside? No, you're already inside. The wind. Yeah, just keeps it doesn't it. want us to leave. Yeah, the wind. The wind. Totally not the house. The wind. Anyways, yeah. There's, okay, so where can we go? That's there's nice. like a kitchen, and uh, there's like just normal rooms. There's like a sitting room. You know, it's a pretty old house. Looks like maybe it was the house of like a very minor noble at some point. There's paintings on the walls. There's cobwebs. Ew, gross. Yeah. Julius, go clean those up. He goes to clean them up. At once. <laughs> So yeah, where do you want to go first? There's like a sitting room, there's a dining room, there's looks to be the remains of like a greenhouse that was added on. Uh, there's a kitchen. Let's go see what's in the kitchen. All right, who possibly go wrong here? All right, you. Let's get something to eat, so let's do it. Yeah, I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, so you go into the kitchen. Uh, and let's see, one. Two, three. I'm gonna roll a d3. Okay. Uh, you notice that on the wall, written in blood, is uh, what appears to be something in an ancient dead language. Um, hmm. and it is written in Alex's handwriting. Ah. Uh, uh, can um, any of us who aren't Alex recognize it? I don't think I've written much stuff for you. Yeah, no, Alex, yeah. you recognize it as your handwriting. Uh, people who know thing about things about magic can roll to see what the language is. All right. Um, or maybe possibly translate let's it. Let's test out this new skill bonus. <laughs> hey, remember when I said natural ones all the way down? <laughs> it's possibly written in ancient draconic. Let's oh, okay. See if I've run into this at any point while serving as a diplomat. Uh, yeah, the diplomat actually knows uh it is well you did write it so yeah i mean <laughs> it is uh the language used uh by the wizard king and by extension the lich king um, oh that's probably something i should know whoops <laughs> yeah so it's it's really old and uh you can roughly translate it as uh turn back turn so back. When, yeah no turn back so, uh, Haribo, are you looking around the kitchen for food? Yeah. Alright. Give me a skill check to avoid a, like, as soon as you open, like, the larder to check if there's any food in there, uh, like, a tornado of rotting meat flies out and swarms around you. You. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm rolling. Yeah. Yep, DC 20. Ooh, tough rolls. Action roll, like, uh, Will and Chet <sighs> for Toss. Okay, so you roll out of the way, uh, and then, like, the meat just flops down on the ground, lifeless. That's some really weird wind. I guess it's not yet time to meet your maker. So, yeah, no. no not gonna. Yeah, so not the, uh. Satisfaction. So, yeah, the, uh, meat flies out of the larder, flops down on the ground, lifelessly, and the house continues to shake and howl. That's some really weird wind, you know? Yeah, yeah, that wind coming from, uh, what the hell would a medieval equivalent of a fridge be? Larder. Um, an larder. icebox? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's weird. Oh, that wind coming out of the larder. Yeah, yeah, that's just kind of unusual since, you know. Yeah, that's the only explanation you can think of. <laughs> Mr. I rolled a natural one. The one, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, well, with a natural one. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not getting anything to eat here. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother the two dead people. No, there's no dead people here. Uh, uh Julius? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Rude. It doesn't really count. I think there's a live person. Alright, so what room do you want to go to next? Mmm, dining room. Go into the dining room? Alright. Uh, you enter the dining room. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the Lich King did it with a wrench. Right, you enter the dining room. It looks like a meal had just been prepared. It smells wonderful. Uh, 
when, let's see, let's see, can rule. Yeah, I'll say that, uh, Severus, uh, you hear this scratching sound all around you. Oh, oh dear. Give me a DC 20 roll to maybe identify what it is. Alright. It's, it's, it's like a big cheering sound. And it's Imperial from, agent it's, background. It's coming from all around you, but no matter where you look, you see nothing. That's really annoying. Where are Holy they shit! <laughs> right. I'm noticing a theme you here. You fucking called this. Like, you brought this on yourself. Yeah. That, that's the true Halloween. Uh, okay, does that hit your MD? Uh, MD, let me check. Just a moment. Yes, it does. I'm going to yeah. guess it does. Yeah. All right. You take seven psychic damage as uh, the chittering of the rats grows louder and louder and louder until uh, you can't stand <laughs> it anymore. Rats. Uh, and then it subsides. Uh, send me. Yep. See so, yeah, how there's uh, food on the table if you want to eat it. It smells fine. Uh, hmm. Look with a stick first. I'd say I should identify this, but I know where this is going. Know, well, let's just it. get it out of the way now. Let's see if we can't see anything suspicious about this food. That's a little bit better. Well, yeah, considering the rest of this place is rotting and falling down. Yeah. It seems to be that. Yeah, this is a little suspicious. Just a little bit. Yeah, probably gonna don't pass need on the food. food. Yeah, it smells so good though. Yeah. I'll just chop off my notes later. It's cool. All right. Uh, yeah, and there's paintings on the walls, and they, you know, their eyes seem to follow you around the room. That's creepy and weird. Yeah. Uh, it's just an know. optical illusion. Don't worry, guys. Are you staggered already? Severus? Yes, I am. I don't know Great. why you're so worried about this. I've got tons more HP. Feel fine. I yeah. feel fine. It's, it's, just fucking it's fine, guys. All right, where do you want to go next? There's a sitting room. Uh, I'm assuming that I'll be able to use recoveries before we actually get into a fight. But... Maybe. Who knows? Okay. There's That's a sitting nice. room. Yeah, you will, obviously. Uh, there's a sitting room. There is the remains of a greenhouse that looks like it was attached. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I bet the greenhouse has monsters in it, so let's go to the sitting room first. Alright. Uh... Spoilers, I'm completely wrong, and it's the sitting room that has the monsters in it. Alright, so, uh... Uh, We're both right. Alex, (laughs) Alex is taking the lead into the sitting room, because I said so. He's the only one who has not had a special little spook. Uh, so you are walking, or rather, maybe you're not taking the lead, but you're walking, uh, when something goes boo, and it pops right out in front of your face. Roll! Roll a background check with a DC-20 to avoid this pop scare. Too spooky. Yeah. It's really spooky. It's like the worst JPEGs you've ever seen. Pretty good. I just dodge out of the way that with my experience in avoiding, you know, attacks as a spell sword. Yeah, okay, yeah, you just get out of the way. That pop scare didn't scare you. I mean, that's the (laughs) lowest kind of scare. Uh, so yeah, you're in the, um, the sitting room. There's spider webs everywhere. Uh, and I'm gonna roll a d3. Actually, I'm gonna roll a d4. Uh, are we gonna be able to search the web? I don't like you. You. Alright. Oh, this is not Severus's day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Severus. I'm gonna make another, uh... Uh, yeah, you're walking around when, it, when you, you're, you know, you're like, there's feels like there's something in your mouth, and you you're about to ask like, does anyone else feel this when you open your mouth? And spiders just starts pouring out, just endless streams of spider DC twenty to <laughs> spit out the spiders really fast. Ugh. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, no, you're fine. You just start spitting out spiders, big old gross spiders, uh, and gross. they hit the ground and they just scatter everywhere. <laughs> you like in the spiders, yeah. Mm, not a fan of spiders. There is the greenhouse left. I think this house might be haunted. Call me crazy. So yeah, just the greenhouse? Okay. Yeah, there's probably like a library and study too if you want to go to the second floor. Let's check it out. Let's clear the first floor. Yeah. Hey, at least this house is finished. You don't (laughs) want to have to deal with spooky, scary scaffolding. 
Whoa. All right, so you go to the greenhouse. Julia is so amused. You go to the greenhouse. Uh, everyone, who's who's taking the lead? Who is the first one going into the greenhouse? Uh, I don't uh, know. Julia's not. Yeah. <laughs> Below zero HP. Let's, let's put the lays in front. He's a right. strong paladin type. All right. Well, he needs to make a roll with DC 20. Oh, shit. He's uh, not very good at that. I'm not going to lie. Maybe a roll of 20. Uh, he needs Maybe. to roll at least a 17, so... Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Julius just turns around and flips you off. Yeah. So, uh, you walk in, and, uh, Julius, the first thing that happens is this big wasp nest just falls on top of him, and you're thinking, oh god, they're everywhere. They're in your mouth, and in his mouth, and in his nose. Oh god, help. Uh, as, you know... <laughs> As uh, Julius just does not care because he's already dead. Yep. Uh, so there was like a big old wasp nest in there. And you see uh, there is a skeleton with a cage around his head. And he has written in the ground, killing me won't bring back your damn honey. <laughs> so why do they kill him? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. Brutus also keeps forgetting he has seance as a thing. Yeah, I should probably talk to that skeleton, shouldn't I? You can literally do anything. I'm just reminding you. That you I have gotta to remember how that works. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I gotta pull up another PDF. Give me a second. <laughs> you guys talk amongst yourself while so I. So yeah, you're in the, the. All the plants are dead, obviously. There's a big old wasp nest on the floor. You wanna look around the room, guys? Yeah, uh, make some skill sure. checks. All right. It's about that. Uh mysterious skeleton that I'm sure nobody caught the reference to. Uh, I bet this is all set up by Selene. It's just trying to get me to play Hive. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there are uh, there's like potted plants. There's dirt all over the ground in one area. Uh, what do you want to do? Like The dirt's been spilled out onto the ground. Does the dirt there appear to have come from the pots? Uh, yeah, that is something you could assume. Are there any plants in the dirt? Uh, no, none that are growing. Like, they mm. probably died, but it looks like maybe some of the bags spilled. Hmm. This is a mystery Scooby-Doo can solve. I sift through <laughs> the dirt a bit with my foot and see what kind of plants What's are What's a Scooby-Doo? Alright, uh, what's your, what's your, uh, PD for their, uh, Alex? Uh, I think PD is 13. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you got lucky. Uh, you sip through the dirt with your foot. You don't really find anything. Anyone else want to sip through it? <laughs> All right. Uh, Julia, you need to make a roll for icons, excluding the Lich King. All right. Let me go to my secret dashboard. Yeah. And then I need to roll a d20, so let me do a thing. So that is the okay. I don't know who they're one. working for, but their information is good. Alright, <laughs> I need to open up my list of icons. Um, it's gonna be something completely inane, like the Orc Lord. It's now for something completely different. Yep. Find my it's... I don't have to tell anyone. So the Orc Lord. Uh, I have not actually determined that yet. It's the. That better be the Orc Lord. It's actually the Emperor. Okay. It's the three. Yep. <laughs> uh, the Emperor protects. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're you're reviving Nick Cage. Yep. Good. Whoa, whoa. We didn't name him Nick. Sorry, Could be you're, some sort you're of other cage. You're reviving the uh, man in the cage. Yes. All right. His skeleton animates knees. He's uh, screaming, killing me, killing me won't bring back your damn honey. Ah, they're everywhere. And, he's, and then the skeleton's swatting in his face, and slowly he stops and says, uh, huh. Everything uh, okay there, buddy? No. Uh, all right, so I have some good news and some bad news. Yeah. The good news is that the hornets are gone. Okay, what's the bad news? The bad news is that you're kind of dead. Oh my god, Rogue. Uh, oh, I'm dead? They killed me? 
Damn. Seems like it. Damn. That goddamn cult. Cult, huh? Yeah, they were worshipping so, a yeah. they were worshipping a demon of hornets. <laughs> Seems like Make a Charlotte cult. Hornets. <laughs> a kind of a lame uh, demon, to be quite honest. Yeah, that's what you think until they start pouring hornets into your cage mask. <laughs> Well, that's that's kind of your fault for wearing a cage mask, but yeah, we well, can discuss that some other time. So, um, yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about this house? Uh, it is on unholy ground, and it is awful. <laughs> why are you here? Uh, we needed to take shelter from a storm. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Could be worse. I mean, this house is, I mean, everyone that has ever lived in this house has come to horrible ends. And, uh, well, um, I'm not going to lie, this house seems more annoying than it does uh, threatening. Yeah, no, that's what you think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like your opinion, man. Mm. I don't know, maybe it's changed? Mm, well, I haven't seen any cultists around, that's for sure. Oh, or any good. demons, that's just good. rats and and hornets and all uh, sorts of pests. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, <laughs> last time just I was a here, skeleton drops over dead again. Last time, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Last time, last time I was here, uh, we, yeah, last time I was here, this was owned by the Diabolus or one of her. Or a group of her supporters. One of her supporters that she sent all the way out here because she found them really annoying. Yeah. I'm, I'm sensing a theme here that uh, th these guys might be uh, not a grade A cultists here. Well, I don't know if that's still true. Well, we haven't seen any, so you know what I mean, they... Just... Yeah, what? What they were... How far along they were in this summoning, because i got a feeling it might have backfired. Probably. This place is not exactly lucky. <laughs> you don't say. No, I, I, I do say. So, right. yeah, I don't I know. I think, yeah, I think we are done with uh, our skeleton buddy here. All right, cool. I mean, I'm just going to, and then he, he starts to walk away, and then he just falls over. <laughs> Rip, skeleton. So, yeah. I hardly knew ye. This place was originally connected with the Diablo, so you don't know if it's so now. Mm, doesn't seem like it. But uh, hey, I've been wrong about everything so far, so. <laughs> Alright, so you gonna go upstairs to check yeah, out? Yeah, we got time. upstairs to explore. Alright, so you head upstairs. There is indeed a library and a study and an observatory with a telescope thing. Where do you want to mm. go? Hmm. I'm going to let somebody else decide for this time, because I, I kind of want to be a tremendous dick and say let's split up, but... I say we book it to the library. Like, this is supposed to be a horror film, we need to split up. Yeah. <laughs> that was my general idea. It doesn't matter, it's, uh, we're compelled by the logic of the narrative. No, you can do what you want. <laughs> okay. I'm so... going to hide in a locker and hold my breath. All right, so I'll do this. Who's going to the library? I'll go. Uh, right. I like books. All right. And uh, where is Alex going? Is he also going to the library? Uh, that was originally his idea. That was my original plan. Yeah. All right, so who is going in first? Uh, let's throw in Julius again. All right. Or bastard. He needs to roll a DC. Oh, uh, boy. Here's to good rolls. <laughs> nope. All right. Sorry, buddy. Does that hit his AC? Uh, there it is. Um, 17. I want to say that's right on the nose. Give me a second. I've got to scroll down to his AC. No, he's got 18 now. All right. Well, then a storm of books pummels him, and then he just gets back up. Like, he dies, and then he just gets back up. <laughs> he gives no fucks. Poor he Julius. Just walks on. All right. So uh, you're in the library. There is a chair. There is books, lots of books, and uh, that's, that's about it. There's some cobwebs. Okay, I'm going to grab one at random and start reading. 
All right. Okay. Let me. You should roll a reading save. Reading save. DC twenty. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So you pick up uh, a book named the Necro Telenomicon, which is a <laughs> listing of all the uh, rituals needed to summon demons. Oh, okay. Uh, and instead of going incredibly insane, uh, you have the good <laughs> enough sense to put it down immediately. Well, yeah, I'm just offended by the title. There, there are no undead in this book, so I'm kind of disappointed. All right. Anyone else want to pick up a book? Hmm. Pick up something cooler than what I did. Uh, I'll check the history section. Uh, <laughs> I so, am going to go over and look for the most suspicious book that will open a secret passage. <laughs> Alright. What I'll could possibly me, go wrong? Give me a background check for that, Ramba. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Pretty good. You open a secret passage downstairs to the um, greenhouse. To the greenhouse? Yes. That's huh. not a very secret passage. It just opens up in the ground and then you can just get out. It's a very confusing. Oh, uh, so, so it's like a tunnel, kind of. Except, yeah, no, it's obviously magic. Oh, okay. And uh, you were grabbing a history book, Alex? Yes. Were you looking for anything specific, or did you just want to write them? Uh, like, I'm seeing what's the most recent stuff they have to try and date this building. That's a oh. good question. Can you give me a background roll? Interesting idea. It's true. Well, we... See if you can... Jesus Christ. Good rolls. Okay, you find um the... Let's see, the Codex of... Whispering Witchcraft, which was originally published uh, around the 11th age, um, and it has not been into reprint before. Like, or, sorry, it hasn't been reprinted since. So, about 11th age, 11th age is when the last book in this room was probably put in there. Hmm. It's like the latest book. This is a really old house. Yeah. yeah pretty old. I'm surprised it's so still standing. Oh, it collapse upon itself. Yeah, yeah, they, it shouldn't still be standing. Especially not in a place with weather like this, jeez. As, as you say that, the house creaks. <laughs> mm. Well, we're only telling the truth. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, uh, Faribo. What? Tell a joke. Maybe, maybe a joke about the house, even. Uh, you know what's wrong with you or someone to do a joke about this is because a you're putting me right on the spot i can't really <laughs> think of a joke right as this moment and also this house doesn't warrant a joke at all well i mean <laughs> if you could have come up with a joke about this house i'd be floored uh, just collapses uh, there's a moaning no bad jokes <laughs> But no, nothing happens. The house just creaks because the wind is getting worse. Oh, okay. It was ominous. All right, do you want to go check out the study or the observatory? Or I guess there's probably some bedrooms if you want to go check out some beds. Beds sound kind of boring. Want to go see if there are aliens? Yeah, we're already at wait. <laughs> All right, there's plates so above us, right? Ancient aliens, even. God. All right, so you head off to the observatory. There's a big telescope. Cool. Uh, there's a lot of star charts and zodiac stuff, and astro astrological. Uh, what, what do you want to do? I want to look at the telescope. All right, it is a old-fashioned telescope. Okay. Uh, it's super okay. old. Uh, you want to look through it? Sure. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. What is that? What could possibly go wrong? Spoilers, everything could go wrong. Uh, okay, so you look through it, and give me a check as you look through it. What sort of check? You got it? Uh, yeah, I got it. I'm not sure I fully... Oh, okay, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, no. Uh, just a background check, Brutus. Okay. 26. So All right. Good. Yeah, so you look through it, and uh, you just see the stars, and then a really big spider has... <laughs> you you freak out for a second, and then you look, and you see Farabo is dangling a spider at the end of the <laughs> Whoa, rude. Uh, oh. anyone... Yep. Rude. I could have found a planet, so this was to suffice. <laughs> um, anyone else want to look through the telescope, or do you want to read the star charts or anything? Mm. Yeah, sure. Let's look at the star charts. Yeah. All right. Does someone give me a background check for looking at star charts? Let Everyone, do it. Everyone can do it. But yeah. Oh uh, well, Ribos first. All right. Uh, 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 they are rough navigational dealies. They're they look to you like normal star charts. This is what happens when you. They have just look like stars. Charts. Okay, I've run into some star charts while you know. And navigating between places I've been. Alright. Uh, oh, with that 26, the 15, uh, you re- you recognize that uh, these are, some of these stars hasn't, haven't been seen, like cons- these constellations haven't been seen in a while. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, so yeah, these, these seem to be pretty old. That's uh, what happens when you have as your priest training. And 20, with a 26, you need to roll me a save. Oh dear. He knows or, too much. Uh, Just a background check. Like, PC20. As you look at them and you realize something terrible. Okay, yeah, no, you, you realize something terrible. Uh, that these are stars that have, these stars and constellations have never existed in this world. And I'm gonna roll a thing. Oh boy. Interesting, interesting. Oh dear. That's a anyways, anyways, yeah, you look at them, uh, you realize they have not been seen for a while. Uh, and they make you feel nervous. For some reason. Hmm. Let's uh, see. So yeah, uh, you can also you got everything. Let me you can also try and uh, do some zodiac reading. That stuff is there if you want to maybe predict your future, I guess? Sure. Do right. you tell me my future. I got a 27, Jesus. All right. Uh, you're sp- 24 for telling futures. All right, so Severus, you look at the uh, star charts and you notice that uh, there seems to be, uh, in your immediate future, there seems to be a conflicting, uh, I don't know, it's like conflicting influences. You see... Uh, <laughs> the constellation uh, Gemini is uh, both simultaneously pointing to the constellation known as the Eye of the Lich and uh, the Heart of the Prince, and that's confusing. Uh, as those two signs are not typically associated with each other at all. Mm. You were born under a certain sign. <laughs> what was it? Which was that? <laughs> God damn it. For Ibo. Uh, you look, um, you get pretty much the same information uh, that Severus gets. Uh, basically, you consult with him, and you're pretty sure that, you know, that's maybe not good. Those signs don't know. No, really. why is he cursed? No, it's not cursed. It's just that your immediate future somehow involved these two symbols. So it's the lady in the tower or something? It is the Eye of the Lich and the Heart of the Prince. Do you want to do some uh, amateur astrology, Alex? Uh, I'm not really big into the futures market. It's too commodified. I don't like you. <laughs> all puns, all the time. Sam. Yeah. Uh, I don't put much faith in fortune telling. Whoa. All right. So How do you know that when done properly, it's a legitimate business? So yeah, um, the winds pick up, uh, and the house starts shaking. And if anyone cares to look out the window, you see that uh, there is a tornado. <laughs> We're going to Oz, kids. Uh, no, you realize <laughs> that <laughs> you. <laughs> 
you realize that it might be a good idea to try and find the basement to this place or like the wine cellar or something. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wine cellar sounds good. Let's check the uh, kitchen again. All right. So you take the shortcut from the library to the greenhouse to get to the kitchen. Uh, and you get in there. Uh, and you see it. It's open. Uh, which is weird because last time you were That's kitchen, convenient. You did not see it being open. So there's a cellar door in the kitchen? Yep. Yep. Okay. To the wine cellar. Uh, which, you know, it's basically just a hole in the ground to keep the wine cold. And fresh <laughs> or whatever it is. How can so, you do that without refrigeration? So it shouldn't be too deep. So it's magic. You, so you, uh, get into, you get into the cellar and you start walking down the stairs. And you start walking down the stairs, and you start walking oh down the stairs, and it's getting really deep. And then, you know... Uh, well, at least we'll be safe from a tornado now. You finally get to the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> uh, and you are... Holy shit. By... So many zombies. Yeah. Uh, you don't immediately alert them to your presence, but there is a black tar on the ground. You. Uh, they... I haven't seemed to seen you yet, but you, someone is going to need to make a stealth check, basically for the whole party. Uh, um, I'll take. I'll make a stealth check. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I've got an item that lets one, me roll twice. Yeah, basically, one say, person needs let's to make it for the entire party. Get Alex to do it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to try and use what I know about the undead to avoid taking any activities that would that I know would avoid them. Alright. Uh, Makes sense. 23 ain't bad. 27. 27 is even Alright, so you guys, uh, Alex basically tells you to stop. Okay, everyone <laughs> bandage your open cuts. <laughs> no blood. <laughs> That's cool, I don't bleed anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you, uh, Get down there, and basically, you Alex recognizes the signs beforehand, and he gets you all to basically be quiet. But here's the problem uh, you're pretty sure you can't go back upstairs, or like if you care to go look, the cellar door has slammed shut behind you, and uh, it's like something giant is on top of it. You can't get out. This house is a jerk, yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So you're kind of stuck, and the only way forward appears to be through the black tar with the numerous undead. Uh, can I examine the black tar and try and see what qualities it has? Sure. Any, anyone can do like a nature uh, roll. Yeah, I was about to say. I um, kind of want to check. Is it flammable? Uh, no, uh, you, will, you will know. If let's you... find out. We'll see. I know some things about it. Um, okay, if that's the last check. Uh, uh, Separate. Did Rogue do one? Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, I got oh, the yeah, okay. yeah, you've got three the, there. Yeah. All right, Severus and Alex, uh, you both put your heads together and you recognize that it's a uh, type of tar normally associated with uh, undead. It's like a thing that they kind of produce in some cases. This is a lot of it. This is probably the most any of you have ever seen. Um, mm. It is extremely flammable. Uh, like super, <laughs> well, super good. flammable. Uh, which, so, which is, I yeah. have an idea. Let's just set it on. I fire. also have an idea. Uh, That's... my idea was everyone backs up to the doorway and I cast spark. Oh, okay. I had a fire room that I was going to give you, but that also works. <laughs> yeah. You also can give me some rolls to see what kind of undead these are. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Which yeah, we might as well find out. Is there a nice undead first? I will. Yeah, just go ahead. I guess I'll use my priest training. 19? All right. Early. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> All right. These guys that I just clicked, these guys back here are ghouls. I got a 22. Yeah. The, the guys back there are ghouls, and they can climb on the walls. And these are just normal zombies who don't feel pain. So lighting them on fire, well, that would probably be, what? like, interesting. They probably also would not care, and they'd probably also be going on. I mean, they won't be incapacitated by pain, but it will still dam physically damage them. Maybe. <laughs> uh, considering this stuff literally down. uses out from undead, 
that could be an interesting proposition. Let's find out. Uh, I'm saying that you should light them all on fire so I can add special things. To them. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing fair because I literally did say this stuff oozed out of undead, and there's a lot of undead here. So. Mm. Is there any path? Like, is there any section we could try and load them oh, in yeah, that these, doesn't have the black goo? These zombies are mooks, if that's what's stopping them. Ah. Well, I mean, it's disappointing me because I could free those zombies, but I can't now. I can free their skeletons. Yeah. Uh, you could try and funnel them if you want, but they're just kind of chilling out. Uh, you I'm... also... Sorry. I've just meant, is there, like, is this side actually open, or do we have to go through the black goo to get to them? Uh, you kind of have to go through the black goo. It looks like someone dug this out, and basically there's a chamber beyond here, which, you know, if Severus wants to give me, like, maybe knowledge about necromancy thing. Uh, sure. And natural one. Or not. You get... A... 26. Alright, 26. Um, these were probably raised by something, or someone. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of them. Not normally this many naturally occur like this. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, also like kind of finding it kind of weird that they showed up in a uh, uh, Diablist's uh, Yeah, well, say whoever stronghold. was here, who is it? whoever is here probably did something to take over the house. That guy was just there. You, you never asked what age he was from, so you don't know how reliable the information is. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. You just know what he told you is that yeah. he came to fight a demon, um, and at the time it was Diablos. But this black tar probably attracted whoever rose these guys, and uh, the necromancer who did it would probably not be happy if he messed around with it. He's probably doing something big. Yeah, well, necromancers are awful, so. Well, it's. I mean, yeah, I know this one necromancer. He pretends to be a priest. <laughs> uh, never heard of him. So yeah. You can try things. Hmm. Yeah, I would kind of like to lure them out of, you know, the horrible death blob thing, but don't think that's going to end up working, is it? What are you trying to do? Uh, I was kind of going with, uh, Rogue's plan of trying to lure them away from this ooze thing so we could fight them a little bit uh, easier. Yeah, you can try that. You can Question give is, me a sufficiently uh, clever whatever. I will get rid of the ooze. Hmm. Well, the question is how much space do we have? Uh, well, basically. What I would do is I'd go to the map layer and delete the ooze if you could get them to move sufficiently. The room's bigger than it looks, but just because I didn't want to make a huge room. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, so we if we shift away from the staircase, what we could do is I could use ghost sound to make it sound like a bunch of bumbling adventurers walking down the <laughs> stairs, not really paying attention. And, uh, okay. Okay, so we get you know, them all, yeah, to get funnel, them all basically the in staircase. front of the stairs, and then we're, we're basically standing kind of off to and, the side of it. And then we That'll can work. move and cut them off so they can't reach back to the ooze. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to say you, are you using ghost sound to do that? Yes. All right, I'm going to get rid of the Spooky ooze. sounds. And just pretend that the ooze is off somewhere to the side. This is a big room. It's off right. behind us, based yeah. on that plan. Yeah. So uh, invert that in your mind. Nope. All right. And, and they should be alerted because you know, <laughs> a bunch yeah. of adventurers just yeah. So yeah. Everyone, came down the stairs. Everyone roll <laughs> initiative. They're gonna be so disappointed. All right. I love it. Do you though? They have zero initiatives. So they, get from me. they are shuffles. Oh, I should probably add you guys to the fucking initiative list. That would be good. Every day, maybe shuffle. Oh, Ramba gotta go fast. Ramba, yeah, going fast. 
All right, you guys should be added. Go nuts. And hey, some good rolls. It's that's not twenty-two. That's eleven. There we go. We should avenge ourselves. Yep, we should. Yep. Um, Put me way in the back, so get our meat get shield up here. Murderized. I believe Ram is going first. Wait, did we beat all of the enemies? No. Oh, one of the ghouls is a little faster than Rogue is. <laughs> I'm slow today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. It is Frabba's turn. There's a bunch of zombies. Uh, Frabba, you might want to... probably want to shift over a bit. Move up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to move these guys. <laughs> 76 feet away. <laughs> oh, the actual... Whoa! Level. Whoa. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving. Formation up. moving. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, it's a horde. <laughs> they know they know how to coordinate. Who hit the car alarm? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All these zombies together, you know what needs to happen, right? No, please tell me. Pipe bomb. No. 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 This it sounds like you've got a plan. Thriller? Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Start dancing. Thriller. I like All the right. uh, disclaimer there. Yeah, that's a good disclaimer. Alright. Alright. Well then I'm gonna roll into action and start doing some moves and thriller. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I, I need to play some spooky music. Oh, no. Is it a... Yep, it's music about skeletons. Yeah. That thriller. No, I don't have thriller. Okay, so yeah, it's your turn. Uh, 14. Who are you trying to hit? The zombies? I think one of the yeah, mix. Do, 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 do. Yep, their AC is exactly 14, by the way. Oh, that's sad. Two damage with your fucking one. Of course. Three. Severus, your turn. Yep. Let's yeah. add some actual skeletons to this fight. God damn it. Whoa. Yeah. How many? Three. 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 These are the exploding kind too. Okay. What is? What are their stats? Um. Hold on. I will post some for you. Or not. God damn it. Why didn't I copy that down? It's the only type of undead I, I saw. I just need to know their HP. Um, yeah, their HP is six each. Six each. Yeah. That was the one I. It was a spell I kept at level one because the level three version of it is kind of awful. And roll their oh, initiative, no. please, and thank you. All right. Um, yeah, they got plus six, so. Wow, they are not very fast. And they act immediately. Yep. After you, well, Back after goodness. you and Julius. So yeah. you raise some skeletons. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can fucking around Julius right. is gonna run up and actually hit something. Is he? Is he though? Uh, well, you never know with Julius. Yes, he is. Yeah, he hit, he hit. Okay, okay, so let me get his damage set up. It's one d one, d ten plus one. Eight. Okay. He smacks a dude. And he doesn't die. Alright, now let's oh, get the these way, skeletons into position. Yeah. I would send two to the left here and one to the right here to so, keep those ghouls from running past to you. Like I've got this, some great basically make a battle line. That I will yeah. tell you on their turn. Alright, so starting with this one. Oh yeah, shit, the schools can climb walls. <laughs> yep, I'm glad you remembered. Yeah, oh boy. Alright, that's a 10. That doesn't does hit. Not hit. They don't do miss damage, do they? These, actually these do. Do they? Okay. How much yeah. miss damage? Uh, I think it's just my level. Alright. Uh, that one's got a 13, which I believe is also a miss. Yep. And last one, 25. There we oh, go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one does a 5. Alright. Undead fight. Undead fight. Yeah. Right. 
the school right, now climbs on the guys, wall. Yeah, they're, they're going to have some issues. Yeah, he climbs on the wall. And then he's going to come right here, Spider basically. Uh, and he's going to tug okay. Lash. Uh, he's actually ignoring you, Brutus, for some reason. Twitter. Okay. He's going to tongue Lash, everyone's favorite friend, Alex. Rip, Alex. Whoa. Rude. Does that hit your... Yes. AC? It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so... Yes. You take 7 poison damage, so go ahead and do 7 damage to yourself. Tragic. And you are pulled into engagement with this guy. Am and I poisoned? Is... You're not poisoned, that was just the damage type you took. So okay. yeah. Shut off the music for a bit. <laughs> okay, okay, now it's your turn. Spooky, scary skeletons. Um, I am going to cut him like a fish. Rude. And let's see what happens. Does a 20 hit his AC? Yes, it does. So. His AC is 18. So. And he is... And, uh, do you see the other ghoul? Yeah. Uh, does he count as nearby? Sure, why not? Okay, he's gonna get shoved back into the corner. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, now it is his turn. It's gonna he's take gonna, a time out. He's gonna jump over here. And, uh, he is going to aim at Alex. And wow. that hits. Okay, he yep. drags you into here. He takes <laughs> oh, seven dear. damage. Ping pong. <laughs> oh yep. dear, that's that's gonna be bad next. So, yeah, you take seven damage. You're engaged with him, and it is the zombies' turn. Yeah. Fortunately, they do get an attack penalty if more than two of them go after you. Oh wait a second, uh, Julia. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be a huge spurg about this. Yeah. This guy right here, he needs to make a disengage. Disengage roll if he wants guy? to hit Alex. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. sorry, I forgot he was. Yeah, it's cool. So he's not going to do it. But Fair. I got a rule. Great, now Rules I get the lawyer full health to... skeleton next to me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying. Yeah, they're not skeleton. Oh, man. These guys, there are a lot of them. They mooks. They mook. This guy literally has nowhere to go, so he's just gonna come up here and. Alright, so I'm gonna do two attacks against Alex. Let's see. Miss. Uh, miss and. Miss. Miss. Okay, hold on. I have 16 AC. Alright, so they just swing their rotting fists at you. <laughs> two attacks job. against. Which one? Uh, this skeleton moot, and then we'll do this okay. one. And then, yeah, and the one that's surrounded, yeah, by, that's three. surrounded by three. Okay. One, two. Oh dear. Alright. Okay. So that's natural much... So six one... damage. Hold on, actually. Oh wow. One, one beat. That was quick. Four. Uh okay, so actually it's six, seven, eight damage, and he also takes one damage himself. Yeah. <laughs> you use the zombies from uh Yep. The True Ways book. Yep, so yeah, this skeleton here takes... Yeah, um, he's gonna explode. Alright, Because so... he doesn't have a lot of health, so let and me go and that's holy damage, how... right? Yeah. Let me see how much he takes, because I know it's less for mooks. Um, where is Redeemer on this? Dang. There it is. Um, okay... Mooks take holy damage you, to your charisma modifier, so he takes three times two because yeah, it's holy. So, so this six guy damage. Takes six. This guy also takes six. Damage. Yep. Imagine everybody who's engaged. Uh... Um. Yeah. Okay. And then there's some the next one. Two. Yep. Does that hit? That does hit. All right. Well, then it's just three damage because he did not get sixteen. Yep. Plus. So he's down to one. He's or wait, did, which one was that all on? This one here. Okay, yeah, so that one is down to one. And then now three. Yep. One, one two, two, three. Natural. 
Okay, so <laughs> I think it's gonna explode anyways. Yeah. Yep. But this zombie also needs to take three damage. Alright, so go ahead and how much? So this one? Um, it'd be six to everyone engaged with them. Six. Two. Wow, that's skeletons, um. Not lasting very long. Okay. <laughs> pretty much. To be fair, they did a pretty fucking effective job. Yeah, they did. Two attacks. Soften up the, uh. Yeah, no, two attacks against, um, no, three attacks okay. against Julius. Yep. One. Okay, okay. None yeah, of those hit. hit. All right, uh, Farabo, I don't know if he's back, but one, two, none of those hit. Okay. That's good. Now it's your skeleton move. <laughs> I'm yeah. using Singular. A mess. there's one left. There's uh, one. Okay. No, wait, actually, they've already gone. I'm stupid. They already went. Because they oh, yeah. immediately go. Okay, Escalation dies at one. Hey. Okay, time to head. Yeah, hit hard. Yes. Going to upgrade that to add another weapon die. Alright. Excited to see what Kong Fu you do. Alright. You kill this one, this one, and then there's some bleed over damage. This one, and this one. They just died. Tell me how you killed the two in front of you, and then one way over here, and one way over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. I need the first one's head off, uh, then I trip the other one and then kick him toward the other one and they both die because they hit each other and explode. Nice. Like an actual explosion for some reason. Alright, Severus Flavius, it's your turn. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think my standard uh... Hold on, I gotta look up something. Because I don't have color spray written down normally. Oh, charism charismatic spray. Yeah. That is a wizard spell. Yes, it is. Do you know how much damage it does and to what targets? I can look it up. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have my regular 13th age book of okay. easily you spell charismatic? Do you not have your spell that like kills all the mooks and gives them to us as skeletons? Um, can't use it. I already used it uh, last time, last session, and we don't get resort just yet. Yeah. Maybe you can kill this asshole so he stops killing That's me. That's the idea. Let's see if it... Uh... Alright, hold on. I have found it. It is 1d4 nearby enemies in a group, and it is intelligence plus level versus MD. It does 2d8 psychic damage. Mm. And if the target has 10 HP or fewer after the damage is dealt, oh, it is weakened ooh. until the end of your next turn. Ooh. Uh, actually, you're not level 3 yet. Never mind. If you move up a bit, everything should be nearby. Yeah. I move up here, I think we're good. Yep. And you said 1D4. intelligence. If you need to roll 1d4. To see how okay, 1d4 first. Yep. Okay, Great. three. So that is this. Probably and this, and then the move pool. So you'll hit yeah. literally everything. Cool. Um, all right. And then let's yes. see. Since this is a magic thing, I get three from intelligence, uh, two from level, um, one from the rod itself and one because I've got shitty constitution. And also uh, one extra from the escalation die. Good times. So 21. Yeah, that hits. That okay. hits. Highest MD is 12. So. And then damage is 2d8 and plus intelligence I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. No, it's just 2d8. Oh, just 2d8? Okay, yep. cool. That's fine. 9 damage. Alright. And I'll get to the mooks in a second. Alright. This one is weakened over here. I will put a status effect. Alright. Um, put a blue on there. Blue on okay, and then nine. Let me distribute these among. Okay, so two. Colors everywhere. Yeah, no, it's, it's awful. <laughs> you can taste a rainbow. Five. Five. One damage here. 
Now I need to figure out the Mook's turtle pool. Oh boy. Yeah, nope, they're they are not below ten, so they are not eight. Um but that is a pretty good turn. And now it's Julius' turn. Alright. Julius um had I believe plus eight and then escalation die. Don't fuck up. I didn't fuck up. Good job, yeah. Julius. That's good. Hit. Yep. Plus one Weekend, by the way, is minus four to AC and minus four to attack rolls. So Yeah. Really and good. ten on uh let's go ahead and go with that one. Yeah, he just dies. Julius yep. shoved the spear through. Him. Or sword, sorry. Yeah. Okay, this gold liquor is not happy with you, Severus. Oh, uh, imagine that. Um, it's probably gonna toss me around, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna try. It's gonna try and uh, grab you. Okay, plus six. Does that hit your AC? Yeah, AC. AC. Hold on, let me scroll 15. up a bit. I bet it does. Yeah, it does. All right, seven poison damage in your. Okay, I'm pretty messed up right now. Whoa, did I just get dropped in the middle of the yeah, board again? Oh, well. There we go. Yeah, uh, hi, Rogue. Hi, Rogue. Oh, yeah. yeah, the call was getting a little choppy for me for a bit. It's good All now. Right. Uh, so yeah, you get full. That's his turn. Uh, Alex, you are swarmed by ghouls and scary, spooky whatevers. So to start off with, I'm going to spend a free recovery. Uh, there we go. 14 back, and I'm no longer staggered. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to uh, touch my sword into this school in front of me and shoot an acid arrow through it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can do without provoking an, an yeah. attack because of how my sword works. I'm so glad you're using it here instead of against the boss. <laughs> oh, God. Just saying. Well, I miss. You probably. you do miss. Uh, does so, he do any miss damage? You, you get a back after. Uh, yeah, that. I get back after, and he gets five ongoing. Sorry, okay. And you don't. Okay. Yep. So now it's his turn, so I will do five ongoing. He is. Uh, he is. Let me see what he can do. Are right, you just gonna bite you? Oh, I should have gone for some sort of cool flashy magic attack. Ooh. Oh, okay, so that take, was really close to being dangerous. You take uh, five damage, and the target is weakened until the Flipper Goal is next turn, which means you have minus four to all your defenses and minus four to attacks. And then so is. Uh, did you damage yourself? Yes, you did. Yes. So save. He saves. So he's feeling pretty good. Alright, first two attacks against. Oh, you already have your own symbol on there. Okay, first two attacks are going to be against you. Buddies. Zombies. Which have plus five. One, two. Alright, so I assume the seven doesn't hit. but the No, 21... even with a minus four. Yeah, the 21 does. Okay, yeah. you will take... Yeah, Alright, you will take four extra damage, so that is seven damage. Uh, and he also, actually, this guy here takes four damage as his rotting fist basically falls off. Uh, <laughs> next one is going to be against the skeleton. Does not hit. This one is going to shamble over here because everyone should have fun. <laughs> so, Karibo. Can't let the skeletons have all the fun. Uh, Farabo, what's your AC? 19. One's in. Okay, so that hits. Uh, so you take 3 damage, and then Julius does not get hit. Oh. Nope. Sorry, I need to... Julius is really on the ball today. Skeleton. And, and skeleton. Holy shit! Oh, okay. <laughs> like a boss. How uh, much damage does he do? It does 5 to start with, so... 10? 10. Okay, so that is 3. <laughs> Skeleton showing uh, these zombies who's the superior undead. Jesus. <laughs> I guess. You mean after, like, two-thirds of them got one-shotted? <laughs> to be fair, when they died, they also blew up a fucking yeah. murder shit to the zombies. 
which is kind of their intended purpose, I think. Yep. Fair enough. All right. Arrivo's turn. Time to finish off this book, and let's see. Uh, that I think hits. that's hit. Yeah, let me let me oh. double check. But yeah, there I see fourteen. That's super hit. Oh, good. So two D eight plus. Yes. Okay. Fourteen. All right. So that is. That one's gone. Over. That one dies. <laughs> That one takes one damage. So you kill that one, and then I assume you just pick up the head and punt it, uh, killing the other one that's bothering your friend Alex. So Good job. pretty fucking successful cool. turn. Severus, you're engaged with this thing. Yeah. It smells. Um, it smells we like need to, We need to fix that. Right. Just so uh, hoping I can get more than a fifteen. Nope. This is this is a problem. Yeah. But sure. it's also weakened. It has minus four to all its defenses. Uh, that's fair. Um, give me a second. I gotta take a free recovery before I do anything else. Since you know, dying that'd be kind of awkward. I mean, you can literally go eh. to half your. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you could uh, try and tank an opportunity attack. It's got minus four to attacks as well. That's true. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right. It's going to bite at you. Let's see what happens. It's going to roll net 20 and kill you. Ten. No. Alright, so just kind of... Uh, no. Uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, and... Let's go ahead and chant at it. I bet it's fucking dead. Yeah. And let's see just... plus... Three. Um. Yeah. How much damage can it take? It can take four. So it just dies. Oh yeah, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> you, you basically just kill it. Yep. It's just dead. All right. Julius is up next. Julius, is turn. Julius gets. Um. Hold on. I gotta check his character sheet again. Oh, damn it. Uh. Can it be plus nine now? I believe that hits. Yeah. One. 11 damage to it. I think he kills it in one hit. Julius, again, really carrying his weight here. And he, like, picks up the head. No, he picks <laughs> up the zombie's arm and just, like, fucking flings it at the other zombie. Uh, and Alex, you are weakened until the end of your turn. So, minus four to attack. Send on. Okay. Um... Well, I am not in a terribly great position right here. Uh, well, I could teleport out, but and let everyone else kill this. But ah, eh, what the hell? I'm gonna cast uh, Song of Spooky Scary Skeleton Steel. Uh, Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to attack the ghoul. All right. Julia, what's our spooky levels? Pretty spooky. It might be 18? three spooky. Uh, 18 is right on the nose, so you will do missed damage. Damn it. Ooh. Ooh. To be fair, that missed damage now put him below half. <laughs> and it's his turn. He is... Oh yeah, you're no longer weakened. So that's good. Yeah. Don't worry. It is excellent. Yeah. So you will have your full... Cavalry defense. is on its way. Oh, is there... Oh no, that's a mook pool, right? Yep. That one off in the corner. Yep. This, this oh, no. No, no. He's just, what's... <laughs> he's just. I'm just gonna move him down here. He's, he's the slowest of them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the 23 hit you. He fights at you. Yes. Wait, was a battle going on? <laughs> yeah, what? Sorry, I didn't even notice. Huh? All right, you take five damage. And... Uh, the battle of the bulge. Gets out of here. More zombies. Oh, do they disengage on eleven? Uh, I should have given him a hard save to disengage with my. Pretty sure everything disengages on a ten plus for this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I must be misremembering them. 
I will double check the rolls after this, but okay, so the zombies. He's gonna shuffle down here. He's not had nearly enough zombie love. Uh first attack gonna be versus uh Alex. Does okay. not hit. Versus Bruce. <laughs> oh wow. Harsh, how much? Hold on, let me roll this D4. Oh. The ten was against you. Oh me. yeah, that's right. Yeah, the ten was against you. You're that's fine. Seven, okay. right? That is uh five. Oh really? Yeah, so you take five eight? damage, he takes um, Okay. I thought it was more than that. Nope. Whatever. These are level one. So and then you're oh, scaling okay. ten move. Yeah. Ah. Uh, charge forward, buddy. Charge. Uh, let's see. They get plus six, so they're plus eight with the escalation die. Fifteen uh, hit. Hits. I think yep. it does. So five damage to him. Five damage. Okay. Yeah. It's looking a little worse for wear. <laughs> uh, escalation die is it three? And it's two really good. I'm dead. Yeah, Bribo, it's your turn. Bribo, go after the scary one. They're all scary. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm I mean. I'm the liquor. Let's see what happens now. Uh, you escalation die, so it's four or three? It's three. Escalation is a three. Yeah. All right. That hits super hard. Okay, uh, to the eight plus six. No. Yeah, there's six. Oh, wait, it's seven because of the style. Seventeen. You punch it. You call him on it. You just pull out its heart. Good job. It's dead triple. Oh, it has a heart? It did. Not anymore, yeah. Uh, and it right. is Severus' turn. Severus' so, turn. So, let's try and disengage. You look extremely similar. Yeah, you disengage. You look extremely similar to that zombie. They're both wasting away. <laughs> Rude. But true. Um, um, let's see. Isn't there a necromancer spell that literally turns you into a zombie? Yes, there is. There's a zombie form spell. And you're gonna take it, right? No, the, they were the worst all the form spell. spells are kind of garbage. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should just chant at these, even if it doesn't make that much of a difference. Do it. But that, yeah, be that beats their MD. Yeah. All right. Forty-six. Uh, plus my intelligence. Yeah, and then two from the rod and uh, my constitution. So 16 damage across the board. They just crumbled to dust. <laughs> All, right. All right, now so, I need to recall, roll some recovery die. Yep, because I'm moving y'all together. So yeah, you're less than half. Uh, other that. stuff recharges as well. Like, I mean, chi and whatever. I know Ramba has chi, but otherwise, Let's see. Uh, your next battle will be your fourth. It is. And we'll net you a thing. Let me go ahead and mark down my character sheet. Good rolls. Alright. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, you see in the next room, which I will drag you to the same room. One moment. Yep. Oops, that's exactly what I wanted. I am 100% out of dailies now, which is sad. Uh, I technically have both of mine still, because... That's I, good. Yeah, We're arrow gonna gets need somebody to do some damage. <laughs> I need to just update for Ivo's. Oh, God damn it! they're back! Kind of. Uh, they haven't seen you yet. Well, I mean, in theory, but they probably heard that battle. So, basically, oh. what you see in the room is there's a necromancer here mm -hmm. on the altar. Uh-huh. And uh, this is the Lich King yeah. symbol superimposed with the Prince of Shadows symbol. Uh, and huh. this guy here seems to be doing something. I will read the description I have for this room. This room is marked with both the symbols of the Prince of Shadows and the Lich King. Whatever the priest is doing is probably not good. So probably. someone who knows something about necromancy or magic could try and figure out what this guy's doing. I know something about the Prince of Shadows. Yeah, you can do that too. You can also magic, I would assume. Yeah. Um, three. Hey, mediocre we. That's funny, but still. Mm. Pretty good. Better that it. Alright. Uh, this guy seems to be a follower of both the Prince and the Lich King. Whoa, which hacks. is not extremely common. And yeah. he's trying to do something to transfer 
Uh, basically, he's trying to set up the Prince of Shadows as the Lich King's phylactery, which would be insane. <laughs> like, super insane. Like, why would you have another... You why would, would you do another, that? You would not want another icon being uh, the Lich King's phylactery. That would be extremely bad. The Lich King would probably want it. Uh, he'd be pretty cool with that. Ah, uh, that seems kind of bad. So this necromancer points at your party and says, Get them, my faithful minions! Get them! <laughs> oh uh, boy. And... and he actually he actually sees you, uh, Severus. He says, Get the heretic! The king demands it! Wow, rude. So go ahead and roll initiative. Yep, let's roll again. 21 and 20. Right. So sorry, Rogue. Gotta go slow. All right, so you guys. <laughs> it's have such been an added. average roll. I just have kind of shitty bonus. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, add yourselves. Yep. I will. I am set. Ramba is still the fastest of them all. Well, he wants to be the very okay, best. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, all right. Unless that. Shadow Priest has a ton of health. I don't think this is going to be too bad. Oh, you say that. He's got a ton of health, doesn't he? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> Let me check his health. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of health. He has 80 health. Which I wouldn't say is a ton, but it's what he can do. Oh, boy. Which is here. Um, yeah. All right. Oh it's his turn. Let me see what he can do. Okay, so he's dead. All effects on Shadow Priest end when the Escalation die becomes even. He's quick. Shadow Priest gains an extra move action when the Escalation die is odd. Oh, wow. Um, and there are, like, coffins and dead bodies scattered everywhere. I'm also going to say that this is the last battle. This is probably the last thing we'll do uh, this session. So your icon die, go ahead and uh, use them if you want. Mm. But you might want to save them until you see what this guy does. He's gonna do it. Okay. Again. Yeah, I got a feeling mine's a little more uh, defense based uh, this time around. Alright, he is going to death stare y'all because you're in a group. He's gonna get one of you, so he's gonna get the leader here. <laughs> For uh, Ribo. Ribo. So he stares at you super hard. Uh, 20, 20, oh, okay. Plus 7. Does that plus... hit your MD? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's, All right. Target that's the becomes point. vulnerable to attacks by undead creatures until the end of its next turn. So I'm going to mark you as something. Uh, this. This hole. And natural even. Nope. Okay. That is his turn. Bravo, it's your turn. You're feeling a uh, little, little frightened, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, obviously, we got to go and fight our way up. So let's go. All right. I don't want to go anywhere. That hits. Yes, that hits. Let's go ahead and roll damage. 17. 17. All right. You know, get rid of this one. And which, which one else? What other one do you want to damage? Uh, the one. Uh, this one. Where? So I'm just doing action rolls. All right. So, yeah, you can action roll there. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Uh, hold on, Severus. Yes, all right. Severus. Um, well, I've really only got one thing I can do this fight. <laughs> yeah, what is it? And that is chant at uh, the zombies. All right. So let's see. Here. Oh, two from Man, I'm excited. Uh, and two from level. 24, 24 hits. Yeah, I bet that hits. And I think it's like five for damage. Fifteen. Right. I think that one's dead. Yes. I assume that uh, one of them's going to take like what ten? Yeah. Uh, and then two damage. So yeah, you're doing pretty brisk work with these zombies. That's good. Mm-hmm. They're going to get back up, aren't they? I mean, he's a necromancer. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, okay, let's see. Julius gets. Oh. 
plus eight. No escalation die bonus yet. Let's see if you can actually hit one. Holy crap. Okay, that one's dead. Yep, go ahead and roll damage. Let's see. D10 plus one. Yeah, 10 damage Five. to it. Okay, so two left over as he chucks ahead. <laughs> Alright, zombie shufflers. They all just start swarming towards Prima. Wow. He's Rude. been marked. He's been marked for death. Actually, why did this one do this? This one. This one. I thought I was the heretic. Oh no, you you want to get death stared? Okay. I'm mean, no. not obliged. No, you don't have to if you don't really want to. I was just saying, I thought I was the heretic. I mean he's gonna he's gonna oblige you. Like <laughs> He doesn't have to. This one traps him here. Uh, so forever's going to be. I'm just gonna roll four from forever. These guys have one, two, three, four. Uh, how many of those? What's your AC? Nineteen. One hits. One hits. Okay, you take three damage. Wait, don't those guys just get a penalty for? They are already four? super shitty. Don't even. They do three damage <laughs> on a hit. Right, two I feel like Whoa. we need it if they're going to be able to get back up. Yeah. You'll you'll see. You'll be fine. Ah, uh, that doesn't hit Julius. That doesn't hit Julius. Okay. Good old Julius. Alex, it's your turn. Okay, I don't <laughs> uh, get a free turn because I didn't roll lower than a zero. Literally, lower than or equal tragic. To I, I know that. <laughs> the uh. I'm going to come up and help Tribo with a yeah. certain zombie problem. A certain zombie problem. Yeah, getting surrounded. Uh... That hits. But how much damage does it do? It does 18. Right. Okay, and... so it's pretty dead. There you go. You can watch that, honey. Escalation yeah. die goes up to one. Shadow Priest says, You fools. He's going to step off the altar a bit. And he's going to stare at Rudus' character. Rude. Let me see what. Uh, I'm going to stare at him back. Plus seven. Actually, he's going to see if he can hit more than uh, three. Okay, he can hit two. Okay. Uh, he's going to go Alex and uh, Rudus. Oh, person. what a dick. Yeah, jeez. So, I will roll hit both of you. First one, Alex, and then okay. Severus. This is versus MD. Oh. Great. Oh. Great. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I is this a magical attack? Uh, no, he's literally just marking you for death. There's uh. no damage. He's just <laughs> staring at you. You just become vulnerable. So, yeah, I think we both got hit there. Yeah, okay. So, this is great. I'm so happy because... You both become vulnerable to undead attack until the end of your next turn. Oh boy. Uh, and uh, on a natural, reason? just whatever, whatever okay. you can recognize. And oh. on a natural even hit, revive one dead zombie shuffle and place it back to play engage with an enemy. So that one, you you just killed one. You uh, just killed two. Yes. And another one rises up and he's engaged with you. Oh boy. And the Shadow says, you shall know the icy grip of death. This is going to be annoying. Faribo's turn. Hi, Faribo, how are you? Actually, I think uh, one of those things that hit Faribo shouldn't... No, it didn't. It's on an 18. Uh, um, no, that was my disengage. Yeah, I'm I know. take an opportunity oh. attack and hit the caster. Alright, so you're taking an opportunity attack. You're... I'm just saying that you are... Um, Vulnerable, and I'm checking to make sure he's vulnerable. It means you crit on an 18. Uh, you take one hit, so you take uh, three damage from one of the zombies. And actually, you'll take more than five because they have running points. Wait, you what? Take, uh, you take seven damage total, and this guy takes four damage. All right, and you're gonna hit the caster. All right. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Just going straight to the ghosts and ignoring the zombies. <laughs> Not a ghost. Literally, just a Caster. guy. Oh, I guess he's not very friendly, so... 
that I am real. Oh. That? <laughs> yeah. That, is so that would dumb. be good. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Dice roller. All right, so God two damn. missed damage. Oh, as, he's, as he says, No, you can't hope to hurt me, you puny mortal. I am the servant of the Lich King. Uh, and it's Severus's turn. Yeah, I'm... You feel vulnerable to undead. You are frightened of Julius. And you're afraid of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, I am pretty scary. Uh, you know what? I'll save it for next turn. Let's go ahead and try and thin out the uh, zombie herd a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> so they don't come immediately swarming towards you. Oh, and yeah, yeah. you are no longer vulnerable. Forever. Good times. Uh, that should probably hit. Yes, that does. Uh, 20 damage. 20 damage, okay. Which one are you targeting? Uh, uh, the, it starts with that one, but other than that, it can go to any of them. Alright, so then that leaves 14. That leaves 4. If there's anything, then it will just be distracted. Uh, the Shadow Priest screams, You <laughs> foolish heretic! You use, you know not what you use your powers for. I know exactly what I'm using my powers for. Kneel Thanks. before the Lich King. Okay, Julius' turn. <laughs> Julius, alright. Julius is at... Plus nine to hit now. Hopefully he can clear one of these guys out. I think that does hit. That hits. Alright. Just a second. Five damage to one. Not exactly uh, impressive there, but hey. He's doing his job. Alright, yep. zombie shuffler. <laughs> Poor Alex. Gonna get decked by a zombie sh zombie shuffler. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Glass cannons in melee range. A loot. Oh no! <laughs> Dang, those guys can move. Yeah, they're motivated. This guy's gonna. Uh, doesn't really have anywhere to go. It's kind of. Chill out here. Chill out. Um, Alright, we will do Fribo, then Julius, then Alex, then several. So, so oh. 20 plus 5, so 1, 2, 3. That 19 hits Fribo. Uh, that's my AC, so no. Oh, then you're fine. Julius' turn. Okay, Julius has got three. Two, nope. Three. Nope. None of those and nope. Damn it, using up all the bad rolls. Alex, <laughs> now they're gonna one, twenty me. Two, three. Oh. Okay. Two those hit. Okay, well one of them is we've got some great news. One of them, because you're currently vulnerable, is a damn crit. It. So here's the great news. I'm going to parse these uh oh, dear individually. God. Roll one D four. So you take four plus three, you take seven. So go ahead and uh, damage yourself for seven. And oh this man, this guy is, here this is gonna hurt. He's nearly dead because he punches you so hard. Um, vulnerable is minus four, isn't it? What was that? Oh no, it doesn't affect. It only doubles the damage, right? Oh, yes. oh god damn it! Oh. Okay. Oh. So then you take fourteen damage. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Medic. I love it. I love it. Oh, you got double them. There we go. All right, and then uh, Severus. Yep. How are you doing? Uh, kind of scared. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all those hit. All right, and one's a crit, right? Okay. Yeah, so just so let that me. Does four times the uh, normal damage, I believe. No, it's just it. You just crit easier. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't do four times. Vulnerability oh. is you crit on an 18. Okay. Uh, confirm the crit, please. All right, so oh. two is... Two. Okay, hold on. Five, ten. Okay. Uh, and then from these other two, they did not roll over. So hold on, this guy needs to take this. And then six damage. So total 16. Oh, that's, that could be worse. Down to five health, but it could be worse. And I will... Oh, yeah. Go ahead and mark me as uh, staggered. Alright, that's their turn. They're feeling... For some reason, I thought they did double damage. Speaking we of down to five health. 
Um, Still unaccomplished. Well, you still have your free recovery this fight. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Zombies are the most Good frightening rolls. thing. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad you um, the best ones I ever can see. Let's just speculative, speculatively try some disengage. Disengage once? Nope. Yeah, vulnerable yeah. now? Uh, or, no, you don't get... Yeah. It's not going to matter because I'm at the end of this turn. Um, the... Mm -hmm. Let's say this guy right here needs to die horribly. Alright, Good rolls. Uh, let me look um, at that. Yes. Hit. I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to roll to see if I get a free extra turn, which I don't. Uh, and... You don't kill one, though, because yeah. yeah. And I'm Shocker. going to uh, make it so until the end of my next turn, I disengage on a 5+. Alright. You are no longer vulnerable. Good plan there. <laughs> Escalation die goes Actually, up to two. Uh, Severus, do you want that instead? Uh, I have a different plan. Okay. Involves my icon die, but we'll, we'll see. All right. Shadow Priest is going to uh, let's see. The escalation die is one. Yes, Two. Is. He doesn't have any ongoing effects. He gains. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't have an extra move action if he can disengage from Bravo. He does not. So he pulls out a sacrificial dagger and he says, "I shall spill the blood of a hero here on this altar for my lord." Uh, and the going is to on the other side. Shut up! Shut up, you! <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ! Good rolls. Um, okay, so he takes a sacrificial dagger and stabs you for fourteen damage. Uh, oh yeah, Severus, you're no longer vulnerable to. Yay! All right, so fourteen damage, and let's see what did he roll? He rolled a nineteen. Actually, I just realized yeah, so I wrote that down wrong. That's kind of sad. Whatever. All right, so he doesn't actually summon any more, or he doesn't revive any more zombies. So he says, ah, yes, your blood flows freely. And you, are you at half health? Yeah, okay. 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 I'm it's going turn. to recover first. It's plus four. Got it. Plus, uh, I already have a free key point floated around, so I am gonna punch him. Because that was not nice. Uh, so. Good rolls. Eight. Hey, uh. Ahem. God damn. Nice. Sending that free key point. All right. Uh, plus, uh, plus eight. Yes. What is it? Holy shit. That's dumb. Um, 50, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it might not matter now that Rambo made that roll, but yes. uh, how much health does the mook pool have left? It has... Oh man, you're going to make me calculate this? Yes, Eight. it's necessary. All right, I need to get out of calculator. I mean, it might not make that much of a difference. Mm, I might do something 20, completely different now 30, that Rambo's... 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, oh, fuck. 90. Okay, okay. That, that's all you need to know? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And that's for uh, Ribo's turn. Severus. Okay. This is interesting. It, he's at 28 health. He's at 28 health. Uh, the mooks, unfortunately, still have dudes with, you know, Lots of health, less health yeah. than that. Um, uh, they count as a mook pool. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, what does Chant of Ending specifically say? Chant of Ending says the enemy, which is really open to interpretation. Yes, yeah, I, I, will, uh, I will say that since they are a new pool. Okay, because it's literally the nearby enemy with the fewest hit points. Yeah, normally there's just supposed to be like one counter with everything, but it's really hard to track. Yeah, all right. I, I had two ideas, and I'm going to throw them out to the... Uh, um, group now. Um, I can either chant, try and chant to end that dude's, uh, this guy, or I can use my icon die to ask, uh, the high priestess to, um, 
up my command undead spell a level, which will give us enough to give me enough to take control of the entire uh, mook pool. Oh. I think you should try that. All right. Yeah. That second one. Necromancer fight. Necromancer fight. All right. Yeah. Okay. So can I, Julia, can I use my. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That sounds super fucking sweet. Okay. Let me make some um, disengage checks first. And not 2d20. What the hell am I doing? Oh, you should have let me give you that. <laughs> yeah. Now that I was thinking about doing something else with it, it'll be, it'll be fine. I got this. I got this. I, I'm taking <laughs> two hits, but it'll be all right. Uh, actually, uh, one. one. You rolled two above 10. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. One hit. 15. And yeah. All right. So three damage. Three. Yeah. So I'm kind of fucked up, but that's fine. No, you're fine. And you're not even bleeding. <laughs> it's true. All right. And, so you do that. Escalation die is what? Two? Two. Yeah. Okay. I just have to beat their MD here. This isn't going to be that difficult. Yeah. 23. That beats their MD. So yeah. Um, all the zombies on the field are confused now. They're confused. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, I guess Julius needs to disengage now, doesn't he? Uh, no, they will just walk away from him. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's going to go over here then. Yeah. He and let's see, plus 10, 14. I don't think that hits his AC, does it? No. Does okay, he does, he does miss damage, though. All right. That is two. So, all right. Ah, you and cowards! You, know, you so... deny your necromantic heritage, but you know... <laughs> you know, see the power you wield. You see the power you wield over these zombies. Return to the Lich King. Return to him. Okay, it's a zombie's turn. Yep. All right. So uh, they're there. Like suddenly turn around. Yeah. No, they just <laughs> start moving this way. They're super confused. Nah, I think they've got the right idea. They're not confused at all. I'd say uh, pretty is, confident. In what, is, what does it say about their confusion? Uh, let me scroll down and look at it. Is it save ends? I mean, if it doesn't say anything. Ah, uh, hard save ends. ends. Hard save. Yep. Okay. Okay. They they're just like grouping together over here. <laughs> and That's they're just all the zombies. Do they yeah. save as a pool or individually? They save as a pool. That could be bad. <laughs> Is that command all undead or just the zombies? Um, it is. I'm assuming it says one undead creature, but okay, because that would have like... also worked against the. If you uh, wonder, yeah. The shadow yeah. priest is undead. Just, just so oh, you know, okay. and that would have worked against him. Now, Damn would it, you I like to do a... your turn over again? Hmm. I kind of feel like we can kill this guy. If... Yeah, I feel like with. Uh, Rogue's extra turn and the attacks that they're gonna get off on him. Alright. I mean, unless you've got some sort of resurrection thing up your sleeve, then yeah. <laughs> uh, now I do. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's gonna get three attacks this turn. Yep. One. And. Two. Oh, wow, they're getting shitty rolls. Okay. You zombies. Two. Okay, one of the pants. Three damage. Promote that zombie that actually hit him. Alright. And now it's Alex's turn. That so I rolled a one, which yeah, means I have two standard actions this turn. <laughs> yeah, whatever will you use them for? Now, I think the first one is going to send a message uh, called an acid arrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, first I'm going to cast Song of Steel oh, to give on. me a bonus on that. I should do a thing. <laughs> give me a second. I should roll their save. They do not save. Continue. Sorry. Okay, so this is the Acid arrow. That super hits. Uh, he right, takes he 30 dies. damage plus 5 on going. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> He's pretty dead. And, Good job, guys. Uh, given that these. Should I attack these zombies? or? They literally will not attack you until they. Yeah, they, they, they can't. So, is the combat over, or do we have to kill them? They will keep trying to save until eventually they save. And then they oh, okay. Save. Well, then. Okay. Well, I guess we're going on Achilles for you guys. I think I'm going to use the opportunity to spend my last recovery then. Alright. That is a standard action. Yep. Alright. Good rolls. Um, Escalation dies at three. Yay. 
forever. There's lots of zombies. They don't seem to be doing anything. But, <laughs> but they we will... should probably get rid of them anyways. Yes, yeah, we need to get rid of them. Um, try and save. Fine. Let's go. Yes. That hits. Spending the last point. Uh, let's go. 16. 16. Okay. This one. Uh, this one. So yeah, you you kill two. Good. Just throwing heads all around. Separate. Do some chanting. I believe that's a hit. Let me find the damage yes, roll. Yes, that is a super hit. That's gonna do quite a bit of damage. And let's dead, see. dead. Uh, escalation dead. dies at three. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay, so eleven for Julius. Julius get next to his zombies. Uh, Fourteen is right on the nose. Good job there, yep. Julius. Does miss damage. And four. Wow. Well, he does miss damage. Oh, yeah, he did, which is, yeah, okay, whatever. All right. The zombies are going to try and shake themselves out of it. Maybe Hopefully they, will. Maybe they, they will. won't. They continue to nope. <laughs> uh? stand around. Uh. Yeah, uh, something about this turn. seems kind of wrong. Okay. No, it's so uh, right. <laughs> I'm going to cast my damage spell uh, and come over here. I mean, all, I'm all for shooting fish in a barrel, but this is it's just not feel, right. Now that they're my zombies, I feel a Yeah, I feel tension. guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Why I think that hits. Guilty yeah. in an elf game. <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't feel anything when you enact a settlement policy in the U3. All right, that's true. And look, Rambo, those Turks deserved it. <laughs> That's a slippery slope excuse. Escalation dies at four. Oh boy. Arrivo. Arrivo. Okay, I am going to kill all of them at once. Who will Maybe. Get the last oh wait, that also does three extra damage. So. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Crazy hits. Hits. We have twenty-three. Uh, I need to do the most effective. Yep. This one. So you just murder a shit ton of them. Yep. Severus, it's your turn. Yes, it is. Uh, holy shit. Crit. Good okay. time to crit. And 46 damage. Yeah, those Every those, dead those body. Those two are super dead. Every dead body in the room, like even the ones in the coffins that hadn't been resummoned, just explode. <laughs> Rip Julius. Yeah, Julius dies again. <laughs> God damn it. But then he gets back up. <laughs> All right, hold on. I gotta. Oh, wait, hold on. I should do a thing. I need to. Now. He's, he's died. Hold on. I need to do a thing. What is the thing? I have to roll a secret thing. Oh, God. Uh, and then I need Things to happen when Ju there are consequences for Julius dying now? Oh, God. No, maybe. Uh, uh hello. Cole just All right. opened up where no, Julius he, he, was. Uh, he gets back up, and actually, the bones on the ground start to swirl around, and then they get back up, and uh, Julius looks like a bull. Uh, excuse me, what? He looks like a bull, and he says, Ah, oh, master! Oh, shit! <laughs> Execute him. Yeah, uh, Paribo, you're, you're closer. Do you want to... No, he, no, he, he literally... No. Julius didn't actually die. Yeah, no, <laughs> but in the fiction, in the fiction, it's in the fiction, every dead body, and someone brought up Rip Julius. So yeah, he died. So damn it, <laughs> man, it's almost like Severus did a thing last session that made me think of a thing about why Julius keeps coming back when he's around Severus. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. And now yeah. there's a bunch of other. A bunch of other things that can do the same thing, and now I gotta swap between them. This, this yes, I randomly issue. roll and determine. Uh, so ah. you got, you got a. <laughs> Which one see. did I get? Yeah. Uh, Julius B. Uh, you got. I don't have the Naga with us, so why? Lagarug the Chant Hero. Oh okay. Your glorious voice has awakened me, Master. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing in my notes. Gotta yeah. get. Get, can you type out the names for those again? Yeah, so literally the them. exact same stats as Julius. Yeah. I'm not even going to change the pog name. Just, just yeah. assume. Uh, 
Uh, I'm literally looking at these right now, so give me a second. That sounds good. There you go. And you currently have uh, Largorog. Largorog, the one. Alright, there we they go. They function exactly the same. They just have yep, different personalities. Yeah, they've just got. Yeah. That's it. They will oh follow your commands eagerly. Oh boy. <laughs> Command See, suicide. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> See, uh, Severus here uh, feels guilty about killing uh, Julius, not so much the other ones. So you you might want to figure out a cure for that. <laughs> yeah, this this could be an issue. Considering all right, your I need to make some rolls. Yeah. Let me find my two d six minus one. So yeah. Uh, heal up if you need. Everyone gets a full heal up, by the way. Oh okay. Yeah, that was your fourth fight. Full heal up, everyone. Oh cool. Uh, so which also means new advance. advancement. Yeah. So you should have three See. owns yep. because the third level uh, spells for dilettante are like a million times better. <laughs> oh, did you not take the spell upgrade? Uh, no, I didn't take it at the time, and then I uh, mm. ended up sticking with a different advancement. Mm. So yeah, everyone gets I needed a feat advanced. in order to use my sword properly a second level. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> That's a dumb feat. Um, well, of which let's take feet and I'll actually pick. It's, a, it's dumb in that it's worded like you have to be second level, which is really stupid. Yeah, the, it's a feat in order to wield a two-handed yeah. weapon in one hand, basically. Uh, so I get a, I basically traded a incremental advancement slash feat for a d10s instead of d8s. Which is uh, not a bad thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, uh, like, let me look at some of the power words you get. Uh, hold. <laughs> Choose one nearby enemy. If that enemy makes an attack on its next turn, takes 1d4 per level damage. Hmm. That could be pretty useful. An attack against the nearest creature and can hit without moving. Still prioritizes its own enemies if it has a choice. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that is... Uh... There's also this whole, like, evil necromantic ritual thing that's still kind of a problem. Oh, this, whole room is, this whole room is kind no, of consecrated, No, no, it's, it's not. Let's make some skill checks. <laughs> uh, you can spend your things here, if you would like. Uh, I spent mine, unfortunately. I mean, I've got a always... five with the elf queen. <laughs> you want to consecrate this room to her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe maybe not yeah I don't think she'd appreciate that and you've got other uh, I suppose issues let's see priest training and yeah does anyone else have anything or should I start I, making skill checks <laughs> I'm gonna try a skill check but if you wanna go try first priest enough, training. Oh. yeah keep in mind my priest training is intentionally kind of low Although 24 ain't bad. Okay, so you, in theory, know how to, uh... A five. All right. No, wait, what? Uh, that did not roll properly. Yeah. Because it has an exclamation mark instead of a one. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's try that again. Reroll that. There we go. <laughs> right, exactly the same. What? Okay, so we know that Bert's character was using phrase training. What were you using? I was using arcane magic training. Or All spell right. sword. So, so arcane stuff, basically. All right, so basically the two opposite approaches... Uh, you can <laughs> consecrate this to a new god, uh, Severus, no. uh, okay. if you would feel like it. Uh, with Arcane, you could channel the necromantic energies uh, and maybe give them over to an Arcane like Bond or something like that. Could try Spell Diffusion, maybe? Yeah, could try that. Well, if you want. Basically, uh -huh. energy has to go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we have diffusing units still. It basically just spreads it out yeah. in nearby area. Um, yeah, but you know, if you want necromantic magic to be yeah, spread out. The occasional ghost to show up. That's that's an option. So yeah, does uh Rambo's character have anything he would like to do for Rambo? Oh. Maybe. Uh 
got a priest, though, and uh, let's see. Let me like, just roll if I know what I'm doing. We're trained by the That's <laughs> funny. Oh. Uh, you could probably rig this up for the Great Gold Worm, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps we can do it. So yeah, you can maybe rig this up to be the Great Gold Worm, which, you know, they kind of need it right now. What would oh, yeah. the Abyss? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm in favor of that one. That... I'm going to back that one as well. <laughs> All right. So you uh, rig it up. You're using the evil energies of this whole place to benefit the greater good. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Yeah, it sounds about right. I'm sure that will work. What out could fine. possibly go <laughs> wrong, guys? <laughs> Everything. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you your business, but it's fine. You just made the best idea, choice oh, ever. God. Best choice. Uh, so Skeletons yeah. versus demons. Kind of. <laughs> uh, warriors that are long since dead start rising at the Golden Citadel to take up the fence. Oh God! It's not funny. It's... Uh, oh, that could be worse. It's like a prophecy, and people are speaking about how the great cold worm has not really died and he has returned. Uh, so uh, you can only help this cause. Problematic. You I gotta help the cause, cause, but uh, yeah, Hello? it's not necessarily true. Hi, Rogue. You're back. Yeah, you missed uh, undead, undead uh, paladins and heroes of the great cold worm have risen up where the golden citadel is. You'll hear about it later. Like you get to shadow port, and the rumors have already started spreading or whatever. Uh, and you hear that they have. Yes, those three bolts are going to be the black ones. Uh, you hear that they have risen up and people are speaking about the Great Cold Worm. <laughs> uh, the Great Cold Worm is back, and he's, he was never really dead. It was a test of faith. So his uh, cult, which was always kind of waning, has uh, seen a rise, which, you know, you can choose. That's good or not. Uh, so, yeah, that's you basically. You basically, um leave the house it seems less gloomy at the very least <laughs> that's good good i'm glad we cleaned it up <laughs> yeah so you uh can it's sunny outside that's uh, really nice on uh, you know you nobody's go uh, shadow port and next week we will have we'll do shadow things in shadow port because if i recall correctly that's where you wanted to go yep all right, questions, comments, suggestions for me. Oh my spooked? god, them kobolds. <laughs> them kobolds. Are awesome. Suggestion, play spooky, scary skeletons. God damn it. Uh, I gotta do a thing. Okay. Uh... Uh, it was this one that was the new one. There we go. Name's been changed. There you go. This will be on loop all week. <laughs> Perfect. So, anytime you enter, that's all you will hear. <laughs> Too spooky. Too spooky. Name of the episode. Too spooky.